Thankful Hearts was established by my dad back in 1984 and um, we moved on this hill here in 1998 and he passed away in 2000. This was his, his goal, his ministry. What we do is every Friday we do perishable food for Pike and Floyd County or any of the surrounding counties. Whoever has a need, they can come. It's not like a regulated food for Pike County, but anyone can come on Fridays. We distribute between 8.30 and 1 o'clock every Friday. Brindley, around 500 families can sit every Friday. On the third Tuesday, which is today, we do USDA commodities, which is not quite as many families that comes by, but it's a governed food that has to be only given to people in Pike County, and they have to meet the USDA guidelines for their income and regulations, and not to be able to go to like any other of the agencies around the area that gives out the same item. They can only come here or go there, whichever they choose. Thankful Hearts is in desperate need for deep freezes right now because we get meat in and we have to keep it stored until the next giveaway. I myself has rented a deep freeze which is costing me $70 a month in my own pocket until I find a deep freeze. And I'm trying to find a walk-in cooler if we can get one that would work. Um, as far as the kitchen wise, anybody that has any furniture that maybe don't use at a yard sale or a moving event, there's families out there needs that they can bring it here. Amber and Margaret has a, a building on the next level down. They also have a AmeriCorps worker, a Shasta, that works here with them and tries to get the needs for the clients that's here. Um, as far as money wise, there's always needed money. We're needing toys for kids. We need um, anything that they can provide, like coats, gloves, anything like that would be a major blessing for any of the projects that we've got going on. They can send it to Thankful Hearts Food Pantry. Post Office Box 118, Raccoon, Kentucky, or they're going to send to the China Blood Disaster Relief. It's uh, 644 Adams Road, Pikeville, Kentucky. But to be able to do this, I myself had worked at the hospital for 23 years and I got my back broke. I'm not physically able to lift patients or do lifting and things but it, it mentally helps me to give back to the community to do the things because I too were there with no income and didn't have no way, didn't know which way to feed my kids when I got hurt. But you never know what tomorrow holds in store. But as long as the good Lord's here and we're blessing people, it's a blessing to us.